Welcome to Planet Golf's review of the RBC Heritage. All the information I'm about to give you can find at planetgolfreview.com and that has all the links through to the best odds that we've found so far. And don't forget to subscribe, that way you'll get a notification when new videos go live. So tips to win this week, Patrick Cantley 20 to 1, Matt Fix Patrick 22 to 1 and Jordan Spieth 28 to 1 all with spread X. Not been a great year so far for Patrick. He's only had one top five finish, but he has a runner-up finish here and three third place finishes from his six starts. Matt, while well, he's the defending champion this week and won in a playoff against Jordan Spieth, not a great year for him either so far, but he does have six top 25 finishes from his 10 starts and has had two top 10s in his last three starts. And Jordan, well, he missed out on back-to-back -back, uh, victories in this event last year in the playoff, but has three other top 15 finishes from his six starts here. Each way tips Cameron Young, 33 to 1, and Siwoo Kim, 40 to 1, both with Unibet. Cameron still trying to shake off that nearly man tag, but has had a runner-up finish and two other top 10s so far this year, and has a third place finish here when he teed it up for the first time. Siwoo is another player who's had a runner-up finish in this event. He's had six top 25 finishes so far from his 10 starts, but has not really challenged apart from at the Players' Championship, where he had a sixth place finish, but I think he'll do okay this week. And the outside tip, Sepp Stracker, 80-1 to 1 with Sporting Index. Um, I must admit, I expected him to kick on a bit from his Ryder Cup, but has only had three top 16 finishes so far and four missed cuts from his nine starts. Had a first place finish here two years ago and a top 16 at the Masters. I feel he might have found something at Augusta, so I expect him to do well this week. And I'm going to stick with Eric Von Ryan as the longer odds tips. He's 150 to 1 with Skybet. He's had three starts here and two of those have been top 25s with one being a top 10. As always, there's only one real winner and that's the bookies. So just bet for fun, but have a great weekend. Good luck. Bye for now.